Google released Gemini 2.5, I made a video about it, and then someone asks, is it better than Claude? So in today's video, we're going to see. So on the left hand side here, we have Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental, and on the right here, we have Claude. Now both of these, I'm on the free plan, so just keep that in mind. So we're going to have a look, I've created a game, a landing page, and then I'm going to create a customised website after that, and that one will do live. So. The first things first, let's open up the sidebars and I'll open up the pages that we created just so you can actually have a look first at the code and then after that we can go and create our own. Oh, so I suppose I want to open up one at a time. So the first thing we had created was let me open up ChatGPT because obviously I asked ChatGPT how I could best do this. So first thing here I asked is build a 3D game with 3GS. So this is to see essentially the capabilities it has for creating games which you can actually visualize so this here is gemini's it's a, a ball dropping game where it drops balls from the sky and um you move around now the problem that i found with it is that i can only actually move right and left i can't move forward generally the graphics look fine doesn't look bad it has what it is it's not bad although the one problem was to get this to run, I did have to go back and forth a, a couple of times to get it to, to work, so I had to ask it. But that probably was my fault because I didn't click Canvas originally. On the other side here, we have Claude. Now, Claude just automatically started using Canvas. I didn't have to ask it. But the problem was, there's no preview here for it. I had to download, and then we have to pop it open here. And then you can see it here. Now, I think it looks substantially worse However, we'll put them side to side. There we go, you can see I think it looks substantially worse. However, all the functionalities there, I can move forwards, backwards, right and left, as you can see. Um, but yeah, so I think on this one, I'd say honestly, as far as functionality goes, probably Claude's better, um, but Google looks better. But that's the thing, Google's all about brand, and all this was, Claude kind of is too. So on this front, I don't know, personal preference, but usability wise, probably Claude wins. Now, the next one I thought after we've made the game is let's make a landing page. So, here we made the landing page with Gemini. It was rapid for reference, and we'll show you this when we just did a live one in a moment. Is that the landing page here for Claude took a few minutes to come up, it took ages, right? For the code. So, it was already like here. And then I pasted the prompt into Gemini, and then this Gemini was done before this code was finished. Um, so yeah, much, much faster. I think it's because the code uses libraries for the CSS and stuff. Um, but I don't know. It's much faster. Anyway, and I think the result is 100 times better. So let me download this just so you can see it a bit better. Because it is a single page HTML here, it does appear to have given it a preview. How do I get rid of this? This happens all the time with Chrome. Honestly, come on, Google. Can't even get rid of it. Look. There we go. So, um, let me see. It opens it up here, but doesn't you can't, doesn't fit the whole screen on split screen, which is frustrating. So if we download it and then we pop it open here, we can see it a bit better. Let's do the same probably with this here. Me, actually, no. So I don't actually know how to do that from here. <laughs> I don't know how to share the canvas. So anyway, I think Gemini looks 100 times better. Um, the one on the right, it does look decent, but it's just like kind of super basic. Whereas the one on the left, I feel like looks like an actual SaaS. And so like here you can click on features, goes to here, and then testimonials. I made up some testimonials, which is a bit sus. Um, and then pricing, it has this pricing, which I think looks really quite cool and then get started and then at the bottom doesn't have all your stuff whereas it does here which looks better but I just feel it might even just be the the fonts and stuff but I think this one looks looks much better so Gemini for me on the landing page front now the next one I want to try here is a customized website so make a website for look Jbon. A landing page for his school community a 
apply there. I will see if it's able to find my community and find me, because often they, do, they don't actually find me very well. Um, so let's send it to Gemini first and then Claude here. And we'll see just how fast it is. So here they're going to have to go and do a bit of research, then they're going to have to build out the website. So Claude's already starting to build out the website. Um, Gemini's still thinking, understanding the goal, target market. Um, I, we'll see if it goes and tries to actually find stuff about me. I mean, they're still both taking ages, considering it's just a couple of hundred lines of HTML. Right, there we go. So, oh, right, let's uh, download this. Let's open it up. So, on the right we have Claude, and the left we have Gemini. So I think, honestly, first glance, again, Gemini, I think the Gemini looks better so far. Let me just have a look here to, yeah, I don't know what it is. I think the way Google does it with like these little cards and stuff, I think looks much better. Um, it's also faster, um, or I think roughly the same, honestly. And none of them are using my actual data. Um, but yeah, I think, personally, Gemini looks better. And I think Gemini as well has the upper hand here because A, it's shown me it here and split screen and looks good, right? Which may not really matter. But also, I can't share this. I can only publish it. Um, but I'd have to publish it and copy the link. Um, unpublish and I have access. So it's here I can just click share canvas and then boom. I don't need to do much here. Publish and copy link. And I suppose it's the same. I didn't even know Claude had that, to be fair. So there you go. Both of them can do it. So I think it's just your style, and I think this looks better. Claude looks a bit spammy. Um, so yeah, that's... In my opinion, Gemini is still better for coding. Um, you know what? Let's make it another quick game, because I think game can be good. Let's say make a snake game. Be as creative as possible. It's for a hackathon. Let's copy that, send that in, and we'll do it to Claude too. And we'll send that in. And let's see. So the reason here I'm asking this is because Snake, super simple game, you make it in like your first term at, at university for computer science, but I'm saying be as creative as possible because I'm kind of testing the model to think, what does the model think is creative? And um, how, it, how well is it able to pull it off? So we'll see again, Claude just boom straight into it, didn't really do any thinking from what I can see. Although, uh, Gemini, on the other hand, had done a bit of thinking before it starts coding. Um, but let's see how fast they are. At first glance, Gemini looks to be like 10 times faster. So they're both still going. And that's uh, Claude just moving on to the body. Yeah, whereas there you go, Gemini's finished, I think. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Cyber Snake. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Whereas, yeah, Claude's still going at it. So let's have a look at Cyber Snake. Does it work? Why is nothing working? Why is it not working? So it's not working when I click anything. <laughs> That's not very handy. Let me see it again. Yeah, once I click start, it just freezes. Maybe. Maybe it's the browser that's trying to probably use too much, too much of my my browsing RAM. I don't know, but I'm pressing all the buttons and nothing's happening. So, I mean, it looks cool. It looks like it could be good. Claude is still going on. This is crazy. I suppose that's a good time to to plug my school community. So, basically, I get tired of trying to make stuff using AI and uh, having to just like traipse through the internet. You're finding stuff that's too technical, not technical enough, etc. Um, and so I created Apply AI, which is a community for you to build, automate, and stay ahead. So basically, ride this AI hype train and wave and ensure that you're on it and don't get left behind. So we have calls every week with me where you can come along and ask me questions. We have classrooms where you can teach you everything from the bottom up, from AI foundations, technical foundations, building the solutions, what tools to use, how to make AI clones, etc coding with AI, all that good stuff, um, and then as well as a community of people who are all learning AI, 
and helping one another build build products and projects. So come along, join up, join up. We are currently transforming it into this because it used to be slightly different. So we have an introductory rate. Come along, join in, seven day free trial. See if you like it. If you don't, tell me why, give me a message. That's not what that message is. But yeah, anyway, let's go back to this. So dimensional shifter. So it should be a one page HTML. So let me save it and open up. Let's click, oh, I like that. That looks cool. Can I just save and run the cyber snake on? Cause I want it like, how do I do it here? Can I save it? How do I save this file? Is it gonna let me? Cause there's a bit where you can go into files um, up here normally. Let me, I need to full screen it maybe. Full screen it, is there a bit? To save the files, files. No. Right, well, I suppose let's have a quick look at Claude. Click start game. And nothing happens. Is it broken? Is there even a button here? Or is it just trying to take all of my, all of my data? Whoops, where is my area? Yeah. Hmm. I think it's just broken. <laughs> um, unless it's just, I don't know, yeah. I mean, none of them are working. So that's how good they are. None of them work. Um, I think, but based on it, my initial feeling is that Gemini's looks better. Um, I wonder if I can just let me see, I'll copy that and we'll say run HTML online. One compiler, that'll do it. Let's paste that and run. Boom, let's click start. It's just going to mess up all my RAM probably. Yeah, looks like it. Let's copy that one in instead. We'll refresh this page. Yeah, I think it just must be trying to get too much RAM. Um, or something. This is crazy. Can't believe it's not working. Literally nothing's working. HTML compiler. Hmm. Don't like the don't like the sound of that phraseology. Let me run this here. Start a game. But it's not even working. So yeah. <laughs> I think I would say Google's is better. The only problem is just like Google Chrome. It wants more RAM than I can give it. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Personally, I am a Gemini fan. As I was saying at my last uh, call with a couple of people in the community, I feel like I should get branded stuff for Google because I'm basically like a walking advertisement. But yeah, go use Gemini 2.5 Pro. If you want to learn more about how to use Gemini, just go into the channel um, or we'll join the community if you want, but also just go into the channel. We'll be making videos this, game this week about Gemini. Um, because that's the the big thing right now, um, as you can see. So yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And make sure to come and check out school. Uh, and tell me that you came from this video. Anyway, until next time, see you later. Take care.